Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the Octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. And Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Tempe, Arizona, USA, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 263 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Razor. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, thoughts of taking this fight to the ground, they want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Just out of range with that left hook. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Over and over, he's landing some big body kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made... Wow! Oh, straight right! Three minutes now to go on the round. 
big leg kick land. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, you heard it bad with the jab. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Big right hand there. Again here, but hurt. Oh, that's a nice strike. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Can't take too many of those. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over. This. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his corner, but he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Wow! Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 17 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop.